Hi everybody. So after Wednesday night's card making session, I had some questions and I gotta admit, I can relate to these uh, roadblocks that people are having. Um, wondering how you achieve some of the non-standard folded cards, like the easel card, the stepper card, the gatefold card, and there's many, many more that um, Crafters Companion promotes that are really, really quite intricate. But I also feel like they're a little bit of a card making roadblock, something that people who may be inspired to make cards might be intimidated by because, let's face it, folding a sheet in half is much easier than trying to figure out where you have to put the folds to achieve this. So what I've done today is taken these three of the most popular uncommon card folds and I'm going to break it down for you. On my website I've put a free printable guide so you can download that for each one of these cards, the easel card, the stepper card, and the gatefold card and it's going to have the dimensions for a standard eight and a half by eleven sheet. Let's start with the stepper card. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it down to the width that I want it first. The standard card width is four and a quarter when you're using an eight and a half by eleven. That's exactly in half. But if you're gonna use any of your edgeables, you wanna leave yourself a little bit more room. So I'm gonna suggest um, the width be about six inches, but you can do it however wide you want. It's also probably worth mentioning that if you have the ultimate, this tool right here, it has a lot of these folds already measured out for you. So if you have this tool, look at the instructions for gatefold, trifold, half folds, they're all on here and you don't need to measure anything. But if you don't, Here's the measurements. All right, so I'm trimming it up to six and a half inches wide. That's just scrap. And I'm gonna do three score lines. Now remember, the measurements are going to be on the free printable guide, but just so you know, it's at two inches, four inches, and seven and a half inches. So two, four, Seven and a half. I'm going to fold it on the opposite side that I did my scoring on. The side of my little tool here is a, a good burnishing edge. your standard stepper card. Now it'll be up to you to jazz this up however you want. You could put an edgeable on the fold here, an edgeable on the fold here, flourish it up a little bit, but this is the bare bones and that is going to look really really good with lots of different designs, different than your standard half fold. All right, so that's the stepper card. Next, a simple gatefold card. Now I'll use the entire sheet of paper here, but you can again trim it down to whatever size that you want. The gatefold with a standard eight and a half by 11 um, sheet will be scored at two and three quarters and then at eight and a quarter. Folding away from where I scored. And those measurements will get you to meet perfectly in the middle. That's a gatefold. Okay, next is the easel card. And where did it go? The easel card probably looks the toughest and it may leave you wondering, how can I fold a sheet of paper into this? It's actually two sheets. Don't be fooled, we have some construction going on here. So, I'm gonna make the base of the easel and then I'm gonna make the card front. So again, I'm going to score it at six inches, just so I have a six inch wide card. But again, you can make it however wide you want. Just for the sake of our demo here, six inches seems to be a good number. Plus, if you're using the edgeables like we were the other night, um, that'll give you a, enough room. Okay, so for the easel, I'm going to score a standard eight and a half by 11, which I've trimmed to six inches wide, um, at three and three quarters, sorry, two and three quarters. So I'm scoring it at two and three quarters, and then again 
at five and a half. And that's going to make the base of my easel. That's it. That's the base. So then I'm going to take a separate sheet of paper and I'm going to make the top. And so you want to score it the same width as the base bottom, so six inches. And you can make it however tall you want. But for argument's sake, I'm just going to do just a straight six by six. It'll make it easy. So now you're going to adhere this to this, and then that's how you're achieving the easel. So I'm just going to take a little bit of tape runner. sure the corners are flush and that's it that's how you've got your easel now it's going to be up to you to embellish this sometimes you want to put like a little stopper maybe a die cut or some sort of jewel or ribbon something that's going to prevent the card or give it a little place to hook onto and then it'll lie flat six by six when you make your envelope to put it in and then it'll easel up Make your little stopper here, but this is the skeleton. These are the bare bones for the easel, the stepper, and the gatefold. And so for the exact numerical measurements, um, go on over to my website. I put the free printable right up there for anyone to use. Uh, it's free, you just have to download it and print it out if you want, keep it where you're making your cards. And I really hope that this has helped anybody that has sort of a mathematical roadblock like me, um, to jump over this hurdle and maybe challenge yourself to make something more than just a half fold card, even though I still believe those are great. Hey, but why not take it to the next level this year? Okay, until next Wednesday, I'm Jennifer Tryon. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you back live on the Crafters Companion Facebook page next Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. See you then.